is for the gunner. Yeah. I just because you got options. I'm not sans. I'm 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 cool with it. They usually bring out like yeah. I like the one they, they got the cool armor. Mm -hmm. Um, this probably isn't the right stage. Is this isn't legal? Is it? I don't think so. All right. How much? Well. Ever? Nice little button check they got going on. Maybe that's just mm -hmm. what they're. This is what it looks like. Oh, okay. and clean, clean, <laughs> clean spike coming out yep. there. Um, you know, we're gonna get a, a wall of 1-0 memes real quick, and then we're gonna move on to uh to the real game one and see where they're planning on going to. What a, okay. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, there's like two separate stage or stage lists. There's a normal rule set and a small battlefield edition. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. I can just go on Smash. Unova, Unova's on neither of them, so they wanted to pick the Smashville. Okay, got they it. Pick Smashville. So, uh, assuming that's what we'll be seeing here, unless they, uh, I don't know, they got a lilac for some reason by accident. All right, here we it are. It is Starterville. Ah, uh, wrong game there, but still a decent starter for both characters. We're going to be seeing how this works out. Uh, that middle platform is the name of the game, especially when it comes to Gunner and controlling the extra space. So we'll see what they're able to get done. And Gunner has a lot of moves that can hit through that platform. That that um, up tilt's gonna be a menace. Up smash, up air, up anything. Uh, yeah. Ooh, what a, what a clever use of the forward air to get behind that auto reticle and find the grab. That's that kind of tricky that tricky situation we were talking about before. Yep. That. <laughs> Sometimes that episode was just so tricky with it. Uh, very very slippery. Always up to something. Yeah. Oh, just gonna up smash there, and we'll see what they can find. Looking for the up air, gonna find the back air. That's gonna be a uh, a relatively quick stock. Fifty seconds, and uh, the first stock is gone there from uh, from Toru. Kevin Zero already in it. That back air is a good move. Like it's strong, it's quick, it has a really good hitbox. Um, I if that back air like that back air is the move that you're like, oh crap, I forgot how good that move is. Uh, <laughs> whenever you're up against a V gunner. Oh, there's the bomb snipe. Oh, look at these. Oh my God, look at these setups. Yeah. Expert level setups. Toru is really trying to use that counter right now, but it is just not good with Palutena. It's just not a good move and it keeps faltering. Um, and this stage really doesn't give you a whole lot of time if you're gonna lock yourself into those like laggier special moves like the explosive flame and the auto reticle and the counter for that matter. Um, yeah, especially the counter, I would say. Yeah. It's, it's more read based than the other two have to be. Mm. Toru's is kind of. It feels like Toru's is looking for absolutely anything. Gonna find it there, but not gonna take a stock with it and back off to the other side. Oh. Okay, it will find the counter. There it is. Now, I, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be a read uh, if you're using it as the reflector because of just how much, like, how long those missiles take to get going. Um, but even still. It doesn't have to be a read, but if you're just throwing out willy nilly, then it's, you're just gonna get blown up. For real, yeah. Okay, we'll see what. Invite. And Ernie getting a lot of percent on too, so rough for stock, but really bringing it back now. Um, Ooh, active frames. They do be. They do be very active. Yeah. Not gonna take the stock off of it either. Just. Oh, I actually Ooh. really like. Attempt. Whoa, super aggressive options, all starting with that teleport cancel on the platform. Yeah, they, tried, they tried slipping off into the back air, and just, I think that's what I was talking about at the beginning. Playing around the center platform is so crucial, and both players are doing a really good job. Um, it's, so, it's just pretty even because of that, I think. Yeah, this game situation looks, like, so much better for Toru than it did, you know, a minute ago. Than it did at the start of the game, yeah. yeah. It was looking, it was looking rough, I'm not gonna lie. But you have to you have to figure like Captain Tito is just looking for one more uh, like you know one more grasp of control here in this game, 
um, convert it maybe into an off, uh, like an edge guard situation. So there's the back throw. Now what's the setup here? Full charge shot on deck, still holding on to it. Yeah, and that's just like the really the first really evidence of a charge shot we've seen in this game. Just gonna be waiting for the perfect moment. Doesn't want to throw this game away. It's gonna actually throw the charge shot away, but we'll see if he can find. Still in a great position. Gonna find the down tilt as well. The bombs are so perfectly placed. Oh, oh my god, almost parry. Almost rolled into that forward tilt. And now snipe. Wow, still gets the magna hands, but Palutena is hanging on by an absolute thread here. Yeah, he gets it with that little dinky charge shot. And that oh. is Oh, I thought he lived that for a second. Did he just walk up slowly in F tilt? No. He didn't actually. I would say he he moderately jogged. He jogged at a moderate I'm, pace. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch this replay. Oh, it's gonna take a little while. <laughs> yeah. Um. That no, I mean, he, that was not a dash. No, he he didn't. Even, he, he, I even just for didn't, Gunner, that was not I, a dash. I just didn't want to give that to you. Oh, I fair, just, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, no. Really give that to you. I wouldn't <laughs> give it to me either. Walked up slowly. I just couldn't. Hmm. My uh. My pride just could not allow it. Um, gonna hit it there though. So it's gonna be one out coming out from Captain Sito. Started off very very dominant, but then Toru was able to um, I would say speed up the pace a little bit. Yeah, and making a lot better decisions, much better decisions over the uh, at, like after the first like you know stock and a half. Um, yeah. That a lot more, you know, a lot more usage of Palutena's movement, a lot, like, staying mobile and not locking into long special move animations. Yeah, true. I think that was the thing I was talking about at the start of the set, where uh, Palutena is, can, is one of those characters that can catch pretty much anyone, and it needs to really take advantage of that. We are going to be going to PS2 here, so uh, going to have a lot of, uh, a lot of fun space, you know, killing a little bit uh, later. So, you will, uh, We'll see how this works out. And this, um, like, honestly, I, I can see how this can work in, in Toru's favor because, like, Smashville really, like, allows Captain Cito to punish things like auto reticle and explosive flame a lot easier because there's a lot less room to run away. Um, however, PS2, you have so much room on stage to play around, as long as you can actually stay on stage, um, you have a little bit more breathing room to use those moves and to set up the stage control that you want. Yeah, but uh, Captain Cito not gonna quite let that happen with that up tilt. No. Coming out. Um, I think that I think that hits on the head. I think, in addition to having fish punish it, Captain Cito control every every inch of Smashville. This he has to make more reads. And like, look at that bomb placement. Like, like you don't even know, like you don't even know if uh, Toru's gonna like even come close to that platform. But like, you have the bomb, so lay it out there so that you know that that's one area that your opponent cannot be. It's like yeah. it's just using every single part of the move set to really lock down your opponent, almost confirming into that charge shot. Yeah, I was looking for it there. Gonna get the down throw back here. What's the edge guard attempt? Ooh, almost finding the timing is Toru. I feel like they could have just went for the down tilt there, and then you know, um, the classic uh, two frame move from Palutena. But right, like, oh, we're gonna get up smash for it, and I we've been here before. Yeah, it's another two stock deficit, and Captain Cito sitting with full charge shot. Um, but I mean, this is still a character that is very exploitable, and Palutena is one of the best characters at exploiting those kinds of characters. Yeah. Those for the uh, forward air. I think uh, we're seeing some execution errors now from uh, from Toru. Probably going for a back air in that situation. But mm. Captain Siege was just good. That was not an execution error there. No, able to find it there. Um, yeah, Captain Siege is going to take a little bit of percent here, but still sitting very comfortably. Just needs to find a way to close it out. Doesn't want to get as close as it was last game towards the end. But Toru is starting to really put it on. It just feels like last stock Toru is a different player. Really does, yeah. It's, it's night and day right now. So, great... Somebody, uh, somebody drug test Palutena afterwards. She's been using Aura. <laughs> I can't believe Palutena's using steroids. Performance enhancing, yeah. <laughs> I cannot believe it. What? I'm, gonna find I'm not gonna take it quite yet, but. 
that extra percent you need to fight his way back but oh no it's good. and that was the, the that's, yeah. that's the part where you get like palatina gets lands that really good combo but then it doesn't kill and then you look down at the percents in the stock she's like oh right palatina is <laughs> a kill percent and oh, right. it still has two stocks to take um yeah. sometimes the holes are just too big <laughs>